to another video. Today, we're going out to do another uh, overnight camp. We have a special guest joining us, so stay tuned because it all starts right now. Welcome back, guys. All right, so we made it out here to the camp, and we have a special guest with us here today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish trying to get the uh, truck laid out and set up, and we'll catch y'all here in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and set this to time lapse, and we'll get it going. <music> guys now all we gotta do is put the under quilt onto the hammock and then the hammock will be pretty much set up and ready to go so let me go ahead and do that now okay guys under quilts on the uh woobies inside of the hammock so it's all set up and good to go so we're ready to go for the night okay guys now as you can see here got the uh the woobie inside the uh, hammock there Got the under quilt on. The uh, hammock's attached up here to the uh, bed rack. And then it's over here, it's attached to the tree here. And we're just using these uh, ratchet straps. I found this is much easier than using the uh, the normal straps that come with the hammock with the, uh, the little rings in them and stuff. So I don't know if I've ever really gone over this. I may have, it's in my channel probably. You can probably go back and look at the uh, the video I did of it but we've put the uh, awning back on the truck and it's set up and good to go so that way if it rains I'm up out of the rain tonight so we're set pretty good here and then back here we've got the uh, chuck box some water and the ice chest so we're pretty much set up and good to go for the night now guys let me uh, turn the mic around here and I'll give me just a second all right, welcome back, guys. I want to introduce y'all to Matt from Fat Matt Adventures. Hey, guys, how's it going? I've been watching this guy, Red Fox Outdoors, online for a while now, and I've noticed that he's camped in spots that were very familiar to me, so I figured out we camp in the same spots. So we decided to do a collaboration and come out here and meet up. Uh, we thought it was going to rain, but luckily it's not rained here. We, we got all of our camping gear set up, and it's just a pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Been great. Um, I met Matt, well, actually I haven't really met Matt, but I kind of met him online watching a lot of his videos, and same thing, like he says, I watched a lot of his videos and noticed he camps in the same place as I do. <laughs> so I'm like, great, this would be awesome. Maybe we can do a collaboration since we're kind of close to each other. And so, yeah, appreciate you coming out, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. And it's supposed to be good weather, too. I mean, it's a little overcast, but... 50 to 60 degrees or something like that right. not too bad it's supposed to be like 55 tonight so it's not gonna be too bad yeah as long as the rain holds out we should be good cool <laughs> all right all right guys i'm gonna have matt go ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about his setup over here yeah you got it very very simple as you can see here i have a six inch cot so you're off the ground i have this is a two inch foam mattress that I actually snagged out of my travel trailer and just a simple 50 degree sleeping bag for tonight and a pillow from home and then I have a table here uh, to put my things when I sleep like my glasses and things like that I found a little carpet that's four by six and it fits in here perfectly so it just is a lot nicer whenever you have your, your shoes off and we are inside of a soft topper that I got from Colorado and it's about a five-year-old soft topper and it's held up very well so it's a real easy simple setup but it works out very well for me. Um, I do a lot of camping too with my 11 year old son. So of course when he's here, I don't have the table inside and we have another bed next to uh, the cot here. So it's really comfortable. It's a six, six and a half foot bed. Uh, I'm about five foot eight. So it's very comfortable for me and my son for sure. Well, very cool guys. So there it is. That's his setup, bed in a bed. <laughs> a bed in a bed, that's right. <laughs> And I love it too because in the morning, 
you know, if I don't have something like a tarp or something like that in the morning, all I got to do is just throw my junk in here. I don't even have to break stuff down and just close the tailgate, you know, and just pack up and go. It's super simple and fast. Very cool. So you're trying out a, a new tarp today. Yeah, this is a new tarp that goes on the back of a vehicle, as you can see. You can use it for an SUV or a car. Uh, it's quite large. Um, I just got it in the mail today, and uh, it's first time setting it up, but I really like it. We were expecting some rain today, uh, so that's why I brought it out. I want to have some nice coverage here to cook or to eat or to sit and just hang out outside. Um, I just set it up. I might have to tighten up some of the, uh, the paracord. Uh, but it's been holding up really nice, and I set it up by myself even earlier when it was pretty windy, and it wasn't too bad of a too bad of an issue. Um, I've got it tied to a tree up front on that side, and then a tree on the other side up front, and then just have some guy outlines with some poles. This IMA um, tarp comes with some poles that are really tall, and if you want the back side of it to be lower than than where you are here, you can just remove some of the poles, uh, one or two poles, and you can bring that that bottom down let's say if you're in wind or rain and you want the rain to drain off that way you can lower that side down so it's very adjustable I like that and there's a lot of guy out points too all the way around it just for stability in the wind so I'm looking forward to testing this thing out very cool very cool really like this it's kind of a really neat setup guys this is really cool yeah very simple and you know there's plenty of room under the table you can put your Put your gear. crates of gear in or whatever, yeah. yeah, your stoves, backpack or whatever. Yeah, your shoes. Last uh, couple of winters ago, I camped with this setup and it got down to about 16 degrees Fahrenheit. It was pretty dang cold. So I had a milk crate upside down here with a Mr. Buddy, or no, it wasn't a Mr. Buddy heater. It was similar to a, a Buddy heater. It's called a Coleman Black Cat. And it radiated enough heat to keep me warm, you know, in here, like I said, down to 16 degrees. It was really cool. So it's, I like having the back of a pickup truck bed as an option to camp. Very neat, very neat. Well, I appreciate you showing us your setup. Yeah, my pleasure. Very cool, thank you. Mm Not pretty good now.
Okay guys, welcome back, welcome back. We're gonna have spaghetti tonight. So we got the, the noodles already on. They're up here boiling and ready to go. We got the meat on to cook. It's almost done. So, Matt and I are gonna stinking eat like kings tonight. It's gonna be awesome. So you got the bell pepper and the meat cooking. Water's boiling, noodles are cooking. What else you got? Gotta get the spoon out for the noodles to make sure that they're good. Ugh, can't see. <laughs> Glass is all fogging up. <laughs> Gotta love that. Sound like the meat's starting to get done. It smells delicious. Yeah, I cannot wait. I can't wait to see what this sauce smells like. This sauce is going to be amazing. Oh yeah. So we're going to have some tomato, basil, garlic sauce tonight. Yeah. Oh, that sounded good. Pop. Oh wow, that smells amazing, guys. Here, take a smell of that. Oh my goodness. Tomato and basil. It's one of the best <laughs> things you can have together in a, in a sauce. It is going to be amazing. And cast iron cooking is the only way to go, guys. You got that right. If you're not cooking with cast iron, you're wrong. <laughs> All right, turn the fire down on that. And let's go ahead and get some sauce put in here. You could eat that sauce just by itself. Oh, man. Eat that with some breadsticks. That would be amazing. And that's kind of the way that I, I eat my spaghetti is um, I'm one of the, I guess, the weird few, I guess you would say. I like to take my spaghetti and make a sandwich out of it. Heck yeah. I've done that before. Paper plate. All right. I'll let you go ahead, sir. All right. While you're doing that, I'll go ahead and open this. Mm-mm-mm. And I have butter too. Oh, yum. Thank you. That's going to be serving number one, but I'm sure I'll come back for seconds, maybe thirds. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. Time to enjoy. And there's some uh, bread with some butter over here if you oh, want yeah. it. Okay, guys, take a look at that. Don't that just look absolutely yummy? Spaghetti ready to go. It's going to be so enjoyable tonight. <laughs> That's camp food right there. Mm. Just like Grandma used to make. <laughs> That's delicious. Thank you.
finish up here. I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, guys, we're going to finish up here, and then we'll bring you back here in a little bit. Yeah, you're seeing that right. Yep. It's starting to rain. But, luckily, we're all fully good. Yeah, you're doubly good. I'm doubly good. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put up the other the other hammock tarp because uh, hammock sticks out about a foot past the, uh, the awning there. <laughs> but we're good now, though. Yep. It's going to be a good night. It's going to be a great night for sleeping. Great weather. Okay, guys, it's the end of the night for me. Matt and I are already gone to bed, and uh, we will see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Oh, well, folks, that was a very good night's sleep last night. Got down to about 49 degrees, and I slept like a baby. It was so comfortable. And, uh, only had to get up a couple of times during the middle of the night, but other than that, it's been a great night. It's about 7.30 now, so I'm going to go ahead and get up. We'll get a fire started and maybe find something to eat for breakfast. I'll catch y'all here in just a minute. I said it was going to be cold or something. Well, guys, we're doing some... Uh, boiling some water up the old-fashioned way over the fire, and we're gonna have us some hot tea this morning Can't wait. It's gonna be nice Looks like he is having a breakfast skillet this morning got eggs and potatoes and Sausage and Looks like it's going to be a good breakfast this morning. Okay guys, we're getting it all tore down. Matt's just about packed up and I'm just about almost there. Uh, got a few more things to take down. And uh, we'll bring you back before we leave here. And uh, we'll show you the camp's all cleaned up and show you what it looks like. So, anyway, I'll bring you back here in a few minutes when we're done. All right, guys, I want to thank Matt for uh, coming out and joining us this weekend. Pleasure. It's been a great time, had an enjoyable time, and I uh, appreciate you guys staying around and watching and joining us on our little trip out here. Yeah, appreciate you coming. It was a pleasure to meet you, man. We got to do this again soon. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you for this week. Remember, as always, I'm Red Fox of Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature, and as always, leave no trace.